Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa Samino. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys all for tuning in again. Today's reading is going to be all about your destiny in 2019. I have four groups prepared for you so I would like you to pick one of the four groups intuitively. As usual, I just want to put it out there that your personal reading may be a mixture between two groups. So if you feel that way, you know, feel free to tune into two readings to get that perfect mixture. The timestamps will be down below in the description box. So yeah, you guys, that is it for the intro. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video and found it insightful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to see future videos. Hi guys, and welcome to today's reading. So we have four groups. This is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So the timestamps are down in the description box, so I want you to choose one of the four groups intuitively. If you feel like you need a minute just to meditate on the cards, feel free to pause this video right here and right now. Otherwise, I will get straight into my reading with group number one. All right, group number one, let's talk about your destiny in 2019. Okay, so we have the peacock. So instantly I see that it's time for you in 2019 to release the past and also move on to new things. So I see that 2019 has sort of like a rebirth in stock for your destiny. I see that you're destined to not be the same as you were in 2018. You're destined for a lot of change on a very personal and emotional level. And I see that this is very important to, you know, end what was in 2018 and who you used to be in order to start a fresh, new, you know, happier beginning. So that is what I see that is definitely your destiny in 2019. Alongside that, we have the Princess of Spring. So I see that in 2019, you're going to be a lot more creative and optimistic, a lot more outgoing and energetic than you used to be. So I see that there's a lot of creative opportunity in 2019 for you. And also it's important for you to broaden your horizon. And I see that that will sort of spark fresh ideas and fresh creativity. So I feel like really releasing the old clutter will give way for your destiny as a creative individual in 2019. Then we have life experience. So I see that in 2019 you're destined to go through a lot of changes as I already said um, with release. You know there are going to be a lot of fundamental changes and I see that it's important for you to take action, okay? In life experience, I see that you need to learn from the past and from everything that has happened previously and take that life experience in order to move forward and in order to move forward in a very smart way. So I see that you definitely need to take a lot of action in the next year and it's also important for you not to hesitate to move into new directions and to maybe just explore things that you never considered before, you know, explore doing things that you never considered, explore going new ways financially, new ways of sort of making money, and also just new ways of attracting abundance into your life. So I feel like maybe if you've been talking about abundance a lot and manifesting but you haven't been actually doing it like on a daily basis i see that this is something that you can take up with you know a lot of optimistic and creative energy here so that is what i see that you're destined to be doing in 2019 also i see that it's important for you to be very open to new direction as i see life is going to try and sort of drift you, you know, to different directions that you maybe hadn't considered or never wanted to consider. So remember that sometimes we can be so dead set on something being a certain way that we feel like there is, you know, no other better way, but there always is a better way and there always is another possibility out there. So I want you to be a lot more open to it as I see that you moving in a new direction is going to get you to where you're destined to be. Along the way, you know, having the moon in your reading just shows me that 
you're going to have to make a lot more use of your intuition. So I feel like maybe you haven't been making as much use of your intuition as you could or should. And it, it is really time for you in 2019 to use your intuition in order to follow your destiny. And I see that your destiny is going to lead you on a trail of a lot of um, sort of new communication, of a lot of new, how should I say, new experiences. And I see that it's important for you to learn new vocabulary that has to do with where life is taking you. So in this sort of rebirth and release that you're doing, I see that you may be letting go of a old friendship or old job that may have been holding you back. And I see that along the way, it's important for you to focus on your communication as you're going to start new sort of new sort of emotional relationships and emotional communication so i see that it's very important for you for your destiny to you know be re be very aware of your communication and be very aware of how you articulate yourself then we have the impairer so i see this picture really coming together with the impairer so i see that your destiny is you know to have a year where things change fundamentally and you're using life experiences in order to move forward as well as your intuition. And the impairer tells me that it is imperative that you plan ahead. So now is a great time for you to plan your next steps in, you know, love, success, your job. I see that it's important for you to take action, but to really sit back and plan how you're going to take action and what exactly it is that you're going to do to get closer to your goals. So I see that you're destined to have this amazing release of any sort of negativity in 2019, but at the same time, I see that, you know, with you following your intuition, it's very important for you to set out sort of rules and plans for yourself so things don't become too all over the place, so to say. So. I definitely see that you're destined to have a very outgoing, optimistic, and creative year. I see that things are going to take you to a place that you never expected to go, but it is very important for you to be open, you know, to be open to any change of direction and to just consider all of the factors, consider all of the opportunities in your life. So. From your reading, I can't tell exactly where it is that you're going to be, but you're definitely destined to big change and to being in a more creative and energetic space. So that could either be in your job, your career, or in your love life. But something in 2019 is going to fundamentally change. That thing is, you know, you and where your life is heading and it's important for you to be open and intuitive. All right, group number two, let's see what your destiny is for 2019. First, we have the four of autumn. So I see that in 2018 or just generally in the past, you may have been a little too far, you know, like on spending too much or hoarding too much of your wealth. I just see that you know, something is imbalanced and is in need of coming back into balance. So that could also be, you know, emotionally, maybe you've been letting too many people in who have just left you hurt and feeling lonely, or you've been too sort of shut off. Maybe you haven't been letting anyone in whatsoever, even people with pure intentions. So I see that your destiny in 2019 is to get that back into balance as you know, I see that you're really going to start to notice that it's not bringing positive change in your life to live life on one extreme. So you're going to start noticing how to sort of find a middle ground and not live life too much just on one edge and one extreme of the side. Then I see in the King of Summer that 2019 is a year of devotion for you. You're very loving and faithful. So I feel like if you are in a relationship, you may be going through difficult times together, 
but you're going to be there for your partner and you're going to be there in a very warm-hearted sort of way. Um, if you are not in a relationship, I can see that there is a trustworthy person that is going to enter your life and um, you may also just receive sort of life-changing advice from somebody and I see that there is going to be there's going to be a situation that comes directly from the heart that is going to impact your life deeply. So as I said, that may be someone entering your life or just somebody giving you advice in a very compassionate, heartfelt way that you've needed for a long time. So I see that you're destined to have a very meaningful encounter emotionally and just a very meaningful relationship entering your life in 2019. Then we have the King of Autumn. So in the King of Autumn, I see that everything is basically going to turn out well. I see very compassionate and charismatic sort of energy coming from you, okay? I see a newfound sort of groundedness, if that makes any sense. So I feel like maybe recently you've been a little too much into material things or you've sort of been feeling like you don't possess enough material things and I see that the King of Autumn is giving you sort of the destiny in 2019 to realize what is important and what isn't, you know? You'll start to notice that material things and just what you may portray to the outside world isn't as important as what's really going on, you know, on the inside. And I see that you're going to value things on a spiritual level a lot more than you ever have before. So I see that any projects that you undertake are going to be very successful. And I see that there are going to be exciting new career opportunities for you. And, you know, that money or any sort of resources are going to flow and come by a lot easier and it's funny because you know once you let this sort of pressure and once you let this sort of um, need of material and money go all of a sudden you attract it a lot easier and it comes your way a lot easier so that is what I see as destined for you in 2019 then we have the fool so I see that you're going to start a new journey and I feel like that is going to be on the spiritual level that I've touched on with the king of autumn so the fool shows me that you know you're very inexperienced and maybe even a little bit naive but you're ready to embark on the journey and you're enthusiastic I see that you have a lot of drive and you're sort of curious to be on this new path in 2019. You're not scared at all. And just to warn you, that is sometimes the downfall of the fool. So make sure that you still keep your eyes open and that you learn from the past, that you try and act as wisely as possible, as the fool can sometimes get carried away or sometimes not see little details that are of importance. Then we have strengths. As already mentioned earlier, um, we have very warm-hearted, devoted, faithful energy and strength is really something that you're going to build your life around in 2019. You're destined to do that. Strength is something that you're going to learn is not, you know, physical strength, but it's being compassionate and being grateful for everything that you have as well as just, you know, helping people with an open mind and open heart without expecting anything in return. So strength is something that is going to be of great importance in 2019 and is definitely going to be a big part of your destiny, of your journey. Then we have death. So I see that part of your destiny is to just have a straight up remodel of your life. So I definitely feel like that may have to do with the four of autumn with the squirrel you know the fact that things have been out of balance and you're getting them back into balance and in order to get things back into balance something old needs to go something needs to be decluttered you need to let go of whatever doesn't serve you anymore so that may be a relationship and i see that if you feel like you need to let go of someone who is not bringing positivity into your life who is just always focus on themselves and on their problems, I see that you will be rewarded letting that sort of energy go. You will be rewarded with someone 
very trustworthy and you know someone who has a lot of positive meaning in your life so don't see death as any sort of negative sign for your destiny death is definitely just you revamping and just rebuilding your life in a lot more of a balanced way so that is where I see your destiny taking you in 2019. Okay, group number three, let's see what destiny has in stock for you. So we have the sun. So instinctively, the sun is an amazing card to have in your reading. You know, I see that your destiny for 2019 is definitely to bring happiness prosperity and success you know I see that things are going to work out more or less how you wanted them to work out things are going to be in your favor and I see that you're going to get a lot more recognition than you did in the past so I feel like in the past maybe you've had sort of accomplishments or you've had a lot of experiences where you feel like you did not get the recognition that you deserved, that you did not get praise that you deserved, and you know, people just sort of didn't even notice all that you have achieved. So I definitely see you having um, that feeling of achievement and recognition go hand in hand. Then we have the wheel. So in the wheel, I see that you can expect positive change. So alongside with the sun, I feel like maybe you've really been going through a tough time or a rainy phase and you can now expect with the wheel that there is going to be movement forward and a lot of positive change in your life. So the sun alongside with the wheel is sort of like double the positive energy, you know, it's just like multiplying these warm rays of sun. I can see that now is a time for you to move forward and make great progress. So. 2019 is definitely destined to be your year. So if you've been worried about that just because things haven't been going as well as you wanted them to, rest assured that 2019 is going to be a complete 180. You know, things are going to go in a more positive direction and there's going to be a lot of change and change as in moving forward. You're not going to feel stagnant anymore. You're going to feel like you're actually getting somewhere with your life. Then we have the Two of Autumn. So in the Two of Autumn, I see that there is going to be a lot of decisions and a lot of responsibility. So I see that you may somehow be under stress in 2019 and that you may have to look into time management and also just how you manage stress and your life overall because it's important for you to balance your work and your personal life and make sure that you keep your the relationships that are important to you make sure that you keep them strong and it's important for you to always bring like a fun spirit into everything and to never get too caught up in the daily sort of hustle to not have fun because if you don't have fun i mean what do you have at the end of life so make sure that you make decisions when you need to that you don't procrastinate as I see that that may sort of make 2019 a lot slower than it's destined to be for you. So make decisions and make sure that you balance your work and your personal life in order for you to find time for what's important to you and just making time for your loved ones. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So in the Ace of Pentacles, I see great fortune coming your way. I see a lot more financial abundance than you would have expected. So I see that there is going to be, you know, either you're going to be promoted or there's going to be a new job opportunity or sort of just like a little money back coming your way, okay? So I see that 2019 is definitely the year of the bag for you, the money bag, okay? You're going to make more money than usual and you're going to have more prosperity coming your way. However, it is also very important for you to make sure that you don't let that stress you out because sometimes having more things in your life, having more on a material and monetary level can be a little bit intimidating and a little bit stressful because you may be confused about the best way to save your money or to keep your money the best way to have your money you know sort of recreate more money 
um, and that can be stressful. So now that you've watched this reading, you know, you've watched this for a reason, make sure that you look into how it's best for you to keep your funds and how it's best for you to manage your money to get the most out of these riches coming. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So again, with the Ace of Pentacles, it is very clear that you're going to reap what you've sown. I see that you've put a lot of work in. Maybe you've even had multiple jobs or you've been studying and working. I just see that, you know, whatever it is, you've been working your butt off. And I see that in 2019, you're destined to watch these fruit grow, to watch these fruit ripen. And um, you're going to be able to reap the rewards and benefits. So 2019 on a financial level is going to be more prosperous than your years before. Then we have the Hierophant. So I see very authoritative energy. I see you sort of leading and that is exactly what you're destined to do in 2019. So I feel like maybe you're going to get a new job opportunity or you're even going to start your own venture. Either way, there is going to be delegating going on in your life and you need to sort of take the reins and be confident and make sure that you steer things in the direction that you want to steer them and also use all of the tricks that you've sort of learned along the way, all of the abilities and skills that you have. Use all of those alongside with, you know, wisdom from past experiences in order to make the best decisions and in order to keep this sort of financial flow going because I see that your financial sort of successes and flow they have the potential to reach much further than just 2019. So if you do it the right way and you do it the smart way and you lead sort of all of the benefits you've reaped in 2019, if you lead them into the right direction, I see this sort of being a year that can influence many years to come in a very positive way, especially on the financial level. Okay, group number four, let's see what Destiny has in stock for you. We have the Magician. So, you know, the Unicorn is a very fabulous animal, okay? It tells me that there is magic in the air. I see that manifesting will be your thing in 2019. So if you haven't started manifesting, pick up a book, read a blog article, go on a website and read about manifesting okay i see that you are going to be able to manifest anything that you need in order to be successful and another thing that i see is that it is important for you to make use of all of the opportunities skills and just experiences you've had in the past i see that those can help you greatly with moving forward in the future so make sure that any sort of tricks that you have in the box, any sort of abilities that you've learned or collected over the years. In 2019, you're going to be able to, you know, bring those out from retirement because I see you may have not used your full array of skills recently, but you'll be able to bring those out in 2019 and use them to really create magic in your life. Then we have the Seven of Spring. So the gecko is a very sort of assertive animal and I see that in 2019 it is time for you to be assertive and believe in yourself. So I feel like maybe you've been letting people make decisions on your behalf or you've been letting other people's thoughts and decisions on your life sort of influence the decisions that you made ultimately. But in 2019 I see that you're destined to let go of that and to trust your inner guidance and just follow that completely and blindly. So intuition plays a big role in 2019 as it's going to help you make a lot of decisions and those decisions are not to be, you know, second guessed because your intuition always knows what's best for you, but it's whether or not you actually listen to your intuition. But in 2019, I see that that will be a lot easier for you and you're destined to really grow yourself on a spiritual level and just enter a new sort of realm of confidence that you didn't know existed for you prior to 2019. Then we have the Eight of Winter. So 
One thing that I see is that you may have been convincing yourself that you're sort of trapped or that there's nothing you can do about your current situation and that, you know, there's not really much that you can do to get out of the sort of space that you're in right now. So it's important for you in 2019 to remember that you're destined to not feel trapped. You're destined to be free and to accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish. So I see that you will have this sort of new height and greater self-confident and that's going to help you into freedom. So I feel like, you know, this sort of trapped feeling that you've been having, this feeling of not properly being free, I see that evaporating in 2019. I see that there is a great chance that you will finally free yourself and get out into the world and start reaching things that you've always wanted to reach because I feel like you've sort of been looking in on other people's lives from your little cage, so to say, and you've always been thinking to yourself, oh, you know, like, I wish I could be out there doing the thing. And I see that in 2019, you're destined to finally get out there, get out of the cage, know that you aren't trapped and to join all of the people who you've been admiring and be just as successful as they are and to have just what they have that you admire. So that is what I see that you're destined to do in 2019. And in the King of Swords, I see that you're not one for sob stories next year, okay? You're very assertive and you're very clear on what you want and what you don't want. And that is going to help you with manifesting, that is going to help you with being assertive, and that is also going to help you out of this situation that you feel stuck in. So I feel like maybe you felt stuck in your job or you felt stuck in your love life, but it's going to help you immensely just how assertive you've become and just how clear your communication is in 2019. And that is going to ultimately lead you to where you want to be as you know, communication is key. Then in the Three of Swords, I also see heartache. So I see that you've maybe wanted the cake and you wanted to eat the cake as well, so to say. So I see that there is a relationship that is going to leave your life and it might be very hurtful. I see that there might be a lot of heartache there. But it, I feel like you know that it's for the better. All of the relationships that are of importance and all of the relationships that are there to stay and that are only, you know, positively influencing your life, I see that those will remain untouched. However, wishy-washy relationships and relationships that aren't 100% good for you internally on a spiritual level you're going to have to let go of one of those relationships and you may have been spending a lot of time with this person or they may have been taken, they may have taken like an important role in your life and letting go may hurt, but you're going to know that it's for the better. And I see that again in the seven of spring, you're going to follow your intuition on this and you're going to know that enough is enough. So if someone has been letting you down, be sure that in 2019, you're going to believe in yourself and you're going to know that you only deserve people who lift you up, not people who drag you down. Then we have the Page of Cups. So I see that your destiny is to sort of form new relationships and also give people a chance that you maybe have not given a chance in the past. So. In the Three of Swords, I see that there is a relationship that is going to live your life. However, you're going to gain a new relationship. You're going to gain a new beginning in a relationship. And this can be a romantic relationship, but it can also be a platonic relationship. Either way, there is going to be a very fun, sort of new, witty beginning that is, you know, very exciting for you. So 2019 is destined to be a year of keeping good relationships and sort of pushing old relationships out as well as just releasing yourself from you know the captivity from the mental blocks that you've had in the past so that is what I see that you're destined to be doing in 2019.